and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alexa and I make videos about my life here in New York City. I put out new New York City vlogs every week and I'm also starting to make vlogs about lifestyle, fashion, and beauty. So if you think that's the vibe, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. So let's get right into it today. I'm gonna to be talking about my everyday jewelry and some of my notable jewelry favorites. I really like yellow gold jewelry. Most of my jewelry is yellow gold. I don't like to baby my jewelry. I don't like to take it off. So I guess I'll start with my earrings. So I have three piercings on each ear. I have these diamond studs that are about a little less than half a carat each. And I really love these. These I keep in my primary hole and then in my secondary for this one I have, it's an Ouroboros gold hoop from Maria Tash with a diamond in it. And then I also have the diamond line hoop from Missouri. And so these two I almost never take off and this one I don't really take off very often. Um, but I sometimes will change out my primary earring for some costume jewelry or something a little bit more fun. And then on my other ear, this is one of my favorite earrings. It's a diamond lightning bolt from Maria Tash. And then again, the same Missouri line diamond hoop and the same um, almost half carat diamond stud. So I like something with my ears just like simple and classy and nothing like crazy. I've gotten my second my second and third holes pierced a couple of times because I've gotten infections. I've gone to Claire's and I've gone to Piercing Pagoda when I was in college and my piercings got infected. I actually had my cartilage done a Piercing Pagoda and they did it with a piercing gun which you're not supposed to do so I don't recommend. So what I really liked is when I went to Maria Tash I got three of them done at the same time and they healed normally. I didn't feel like extreme pain. They pierced it with a needle and they seemed very professional and it didn't get infected. So I think it was definitely worth it. It wasn't a free piercing. It was $30 per piercing, but I definitely recommend. For my necklace, I like to wear this. This is the, I think the galosh. Galosh? I only wear like one necklace most of the time and that's my VCA necklace. I got this in Las Vegas in November. I was actually debating getting the Malachite VCA pendant, but the sales associate was telling me that the Malachite is a delicate stone and so you really can't get it wet. So it would not be like a 24 seven piece of jewelry for me. And I wanted something that I didn't have to take off or didn't have to baby or worry about getting wet. And I love the galosh necklace because the way that the gold is cut, it like reflects the light in different ways. Moving on to my hands, I have my little stack here. So I started with the Cartier Love bracelet last year. This was something that has been on my wish list for the longest time and when I was finally able to buy it for myself, I was so happy. And it's one of my favorite pieces that I have on. I think it's so classic. And I have the small Jocelyn Clue from Cartier. And so this one actually like opens. It bends like this. I wanted the love bracelet to be like the thickest piece of jewelry on my wrist. And so I didn't want to get the normal size Jocelyn Clue. And I also have the VCA Sweet Alhambra pendant in carnelian the carnelian is a stone that you can get wet and can wear every day and i had the vca one for over a year i think i've worn it for the entire year and it's held up really well this diamond bracelet here this diamond bangle i got from a shop in st thomas it is two carats and it does go around the diamonds go around the whole way i ended up getting the diamond bangle because it paired really well with the um, because it paired really well with the love bracelet versus like a diamond tennis bracelet, which would have kind of wiggled <laughs> a little bit more. This one just stacked a little bit nicer. So I liked the way that they all looked together and they're not like overpowering each other. For rings, I don't like to wear too many rings on an everyday basis just because I do weight lift almost every morning and I don't want to wear rings that are going to get in the way or that are going to get damaged. Probably the biggest ring I have is the Cartier love ring and this one I'm starting to wear every day because I don't find it like 
as obstructive when I'm lifting. This was my first Cartier piece and I bought it for myself on my birthday. These two rings are from a brand called Catbird. They're very, very minimal and very little. The gold is so thin that you can actually like mold it if you press it. So you just gotta be a little careful with these delicate pieces. And I just have a diamond stud on this finger and then a, this is the baby signet ring on my pinky, which I, I love. So I have a couple of other pieces that I do wear on a somewhat regular basis and most of them are just rings that I interchange. So one of them is the Diamond Pave Cartier ring. I absolutely love this one and I did get it in the smaller size. I tend to stack it either with my love ring or next to it, just kind of worn like this and it just adds a little sparkle and I love it. Another one that I love is my ruby pinky ring so i got this one from a jewelry store down in chinatown and if you go into the gold stores there it's kind of cool because you can kind of negotiate and haggle and so i got this one for a really good price i believe i paid less than a hundred dollars for this ring and it's 14 karat gold with a ruby in it i have this thick band with a heart with a ruby in the middle this one i don't know where it's from my godmother gave it to me when I was a kid and it still fits me. I also have the Missouri croissant ring, like the infamous croissant ring. I think this has been like duped so many times. So you can definitely find this if you don't want to pay for the real version or you can get the Vermeer version from Missouri. I ended up getting this in the 14 karat gold because I just don't really like to buy costume jewelry as much for longevity purposes. I absolutely love this one. This is such a statement piece. This ring with the diamonds. Yeah, yeah, these are half a carat. It is one of those like half bands. So on the back, there's no diamonds, which I actually really like. I really like this one. I got this for a steal at Lord & Taylor on a Black Friday sale. I got it for about $500. And I think the stones are gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. If you want to see more content for my life in New York City, I'm also on Instagram. My name is at Lexair on Insta. And thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye.